I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I bet you have many goals in life. I know I do. It's good to have them. But when you focus on your goals too much, you can actually decrease your chances of achieving them. In this video, I'll explain why that happens and why instead of focusing on your goals, you should focus on creating a system. Let's first take a look at what the difference between a goal and a system even is. Goals are one-time events. You reach them and you're done. Systems, on the other hand, are what get you to your objective. They are the process you follow on a regular basis and they lead you in the general direction of your goal. To put it another way, a goal is the destination, while a system is the journey. For example, losing 20 pounds is a goal. Eating healthy and exercising regularly, that's a system. Getting an A on your next exam is a goal. Studying and reviewing your notes every day is a system. Making $1 million is a goal. Hiring employees, creating the best possible product and marketing it, that's a system. Once you have a good system in place, goals aren't really necessary anymore. Now, I'm not saying that goals are useless. I still believe that having goals is essential, otherwise you don't know what kind of a system you even need to create. But once you know what your goals are, focusing on them becomes counterproductive. That's because when you're chasing a certain goal, you're operating from a constant state of failure. Let's say you want to lose 30 pounds. So far, you've only lost 10. Which means you're failing at meeting your expectations. And even when you've lost 20 pounds, you're still unsuccessful at reaching your goal. This can cause subconscious feelings of frustration and misery because you're not yet at the stage you want to be at. And the more long-term your goal is, the more you prolong these feelings which often make you give up on your goal. So it's no wonder that those who focus on the process tend to perform better in the long run. Many people believe that once you reach a certain goal, there is going to be this amazing life-changing moment. But what actually happens when you achieve it? Usually you feel good about yourself for a little while, but it doesn't take you very long to start pursuing a new and more difficult goal. For example, if your goal is to have $100,000 in your bank account and you achieve that, you feel great. But soon you're going to be like, meh, my life hasn't really changed that much. That's because it's not much different than when you had $90,000. And shortly after you achieve that $100,000 mark, you're going to want $200,000 in your bank account. And if you reach that, you're soon going to want $300,000. And this goes on and on. Whenever you achieve that goal, you feel good. But that excitement passes very quickly and you want to feel the high of success again, so you set a bigger goal. You think this new goal is finally going to make you feel accomplished indefinitely, but in the end, it never does. So if you ignored the goal completely and just focused on the system, would you still get results? Obviously, yes. If you have a good money-making system, you're going to get to those $100,000 either way, whether you have that specific goal or not. Now you might be wondering, how does someone create a good system for themselves? Since everyone has a different set of circumstances, each person has to make their own unique system. But there are three steps everyone should follow. Firstly, you want to pick in which direction you want to go in. Secondly, you want to find out how to get there by asking good questions. Thirdly, you need to experiment with the answers and readjust. I'll explain what I mean in a second. This is Mike. He wants to write his own book. Okay, so that's the direction he wants to go in. Now he needs to find out how to get there. So he asks himself this question. How does someone write a book? He comes up with this simple answer. They write every day. This is going to be Mike's new system. Writing. So Mike tried integrating the new system in his day. But within a week he identified a few problems. Sometimes he had neither the motivation nor the inspiration to even begin writing. Other times he had no energy to write since he was too tired from his day job. What did Mike do? He asked himself more questions and experimented with the answers. To solve his energy problem, Mike decided to try writing at different times of the day. He was always writing in the afternoon after his day job, but as it turned out, mornings worked much better for him. 
It allowed him to get his writing done before he had the chance to be exhausted from his job. Mike didn't know how to solve his motivation problem on his own though, so he looked for a solution on the web. He found that he should have a dedicated writing space where he does nothing but write. This creates a subconscious connection with the dedicated space and the activity becomes easier to start. So he tried applying that knowledge. However, while the advice was good and helpful, he still faced some motivation problems. So Mike searched for more answers and he found out about the 2 minute rule. This technique worked wonders for him. Whenever he didn't have any motivation to write, he sat down at his dedicated writing desk and used the 2 minute rule to get him going. And just like that, Mike's system slowly started evolving and it was becoming better and better. While his goal was to write a book, he didn't burden himself with that. Rather, he was focused on following the system. And Mike knew that if he did, he would eventually get to his desired destination. Just without the feelings of frustration. So instead of burdening himself with, oh, I have to write this book, he focused on his daily objective, which was to start writing at 7 a.m. every morning at his writing desk for a minimum of two minutes. If Mike managed to do that, he successfully followed his system for the day. Also, once a week he would review the progress he had made or didn't make if that was the case. What was working he kept in the system. What wasn't working he threw out and looked for a new solution. The more difficulties Mike faced, the more his system was improving because it allowed him to upgrade it and fix its flaws. And the system was unique to him because what worked for others sometimes didn't work for Mike and vice versa. In the end, he created a complete system that allowed him to eventually reach his desired destination. Now just like Mike did, you can create your very own system for pretty much anything. Set a destination, ask questions on how to get there, apply the answer and readjust as needed. If you already know what you want to achieve but don't know how to do it, then I suggest you check out Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform, ideal for people like you and me who want to improve their skills and rise above the crowd. If you want to reach your destination fast, you need to have a good system set up as soon as possible. And this is where Skillshare can help. It's filled with experts who have already achieved what you want to achieve. Basically, you can take their classes and they will take you through their process step by step. Then you can replicate whatever you find useful and apply it to your own system. And the first 1000 people who click the link down below can get 2 months of Skillshare Premium for free. I recently took a class from Simon Van Boy where he gives his tips on how to write more efficiently. And I've found that his advice can be applied to other areas of life as well. So if you're interested in writing, you should check out his class. But if that's not your thing, Skillshare also offers thousands of other classes on many different topics, ranging from animation and photography to business and productivity. Also, their annual subscription is less than $10 per month. So if you want to accelerate your progress, join me and thousands of others on Skillshare today. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you create a system that will allow you to be better than yesterday.